Hey there, car buyers. It's time for a car market pricing update for both new and used cars. So whether you're on the hunt for a brand new ride or a pre-owned gem, we've got the inside scoop to help you save big on your next car purchase. Who doesn't want to keep more money in their pocket? Let's dive into the latest trends, hot deals, and everything you need to know to drive away with a smile on your face. Welcome, car shoppers and enthusiasts. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, who provides the best dang help desk for car <laughs> buyers available on the planet. We've got a car prices update and car market trends as we roll through 2024. Let's hit the gas and get going, Liz. Well, first up, we've got some interesting shifts in the wholesale used vehicle market to talk about. Let's look at these different segments. The three-year-old vehicle index shows a slight decrease of 0.9%, a bit more than the usual 0.8% for this time of year. The average daily sales conversion rate at the auction was 59.3% in early May, slightly below May 2019's average, which was quote-unquote a normal year, but up from April 2024. This indicates a bit more buying demand in the wholesale markets. Year over year, all major car markets saw lower prices in early May, The pickup and luxury segments dropped in value the least, with pickups down 10.6% and luxury vehicles down 10.8% since last year. Yep. SUVs are down 12.4%, midsize cars down 15.7%, and compact cars getting hit the hardest down 16.3%. These are big drops in market value, friends. You know, Kevin, I'm working with a gal in Florida right now, and her situation is a great example of where the car market is at. She wants a cheap, newer, manual transmission sedan. She was looking at a slightly used Toyota Corolla, like one to two years old, but its inflated market value of around $23,000 put it too high for her budget range, which is actually out the door of $23,000. A brand new Nissan Versa came in under $20,000 for sale price, so she'll be able to meet her OTD budget. And this is all while both vehicles have a very similar loan amount in Black Book. Thanks for mentioning that, Liz. And Stuart is also saying the same thing right now. Used 2023s and 2024s with only a few thousand miles on them are not good deals in comparison with new cars in many cases. If the car is just barely used, we're seeing better luck going after the brand new car. So let's keep going with car pricing. Month over month, pickups were the only segment to see an increase up 1%. SUVs, luxury cars, and compacts fell by less than 1%, and mid-sized cars were down 1.2%. Electric vehicles, EVs, took a significant hit, down 1.4% from April, but down a whopping 15.2% year over year. Non-EVs showed no change from April, but were down 10.8% year over year. Wholesale supply ended April at 25 days. As of mid-May, supply remained flat at 25 days, which is pretty normal for this time of year, but still down a day compared to 2019. And then rental risk prices, which refers to the prices of rental cars sold at auction, declined by 13.5% compared to last year in the first half of May. The average mileage for these rental cars was also down 2% from last year, so it would seem that people are traveling and renting cars less. People are more broke and can't afford to travel. I know. Analyzing around 2 million vehicles listed for sale, we see that the market remains steady with the used retail days to turn, sitting at about 40 days. And then inventory-wise, we noticed a small dip in auction sales rates, now at 56%, down 1% from the previous week. As we said earlier, it looks like dealers are opting to keep more trade-ins on their lots, which could explain the lower auction numbers. So what does all this mean for you? The used car market is stabilizing while... Our overall economy is not exactly ship shape. No. If you're buying now, might be a good time to find deals, especially as prices are fluctuating on given makes and models. For sellers, tracking the car's value is more important than ever. And a big part of this is actually knowing the current inventory levels. Day's supply of new vehicles has continued to increase, hitting a new high water mark of 76 days, up from 74 days at the start of April, and a whopping 44% higher than this time last year. Long story short, it's a good time for a good car deal as we are entering the warming days of summer. Stellantis brands like Jeep and Ram are pushing those numbers way up, hovering at twice the industry average in inventory. And right now, there is a total inventory around 2.84 million units Friends, that's getting very close to the 3.5 million cars we had in inventory before the pandemic, and it's a significant 51% increase from a year ago. Unbelievably, quite literally nobody thought this level of inventory would ever happen again. Yep. Jeep's days suddenly jumped by 21%, and Ram is up 14%. Both brands are well above the industry average, which is driving the overall industry day supply up. But that's not all. Mini and Mitsubishi have joined the 100-plus days supply club. 
Mini saw a huge 56% increase month over month, hitting 108 days, and Mitsubishi climbed to 115 days, and that's up 26%. These increases are being balanced out by the still tight inventories at other brands like Toyota, Lexus, and Honda. Even Porsche saw a reduction, dropping from 74 days to 64 days supplies. Sales have been strong, with April sales running 5% ahead of last year. According to Kelly Blue Book, the seasonally adjusted annualized rate of sales in April was $15.5 million, making 2024 a promising year for new vehicle sales since 2019. This is the kind of data that is contributing to the amazing car deal Stuart is getting on behalf of our viewers. Now let's talk about the average listing price for a new vehicle. At the start of May, it was 47433 bucks, which is a measly $94 lower than a year ago. Right. Big whoop. <laughs> Prices stayed flat through April, but there is a trend worth noting. More affordable vehicles are in shorter supply, while higher price vehicles, 50000 and above, has increased to an average of 90 days supply. Finally, the average transaction price, or ATP, for a new vehicle last month was 48510 up 2.2% from the previous month alone, and the highest since December 2023. Discounts and incentives dipped to 6.3% of ATP in April, the first decrease we've seen since October 2023. Liz, you have been noticing a consistent trend lately from working with our Homework Guy Help Desk members. Can you unpack that for us? Well, yes, Kevin, and this is an unfortunate trend, friends. Older used cars have actually started to appreciate you heard me right. It doesn't mean we like them. It means they're going up in value. Normally, we talk about cars being depreciating assets, but for older used cars, their value is actually going up. That's right. Older used cars are appreciating more rapidly than newer used cars. This is primarily a function of consumer demand. Yeah. Retail customers that want to purchase a car under a 20000 price point are being forced to look at even older used vehicles because the new ones have increased in value beyond their budget. So if you're driving an older used car, make sure the dealer is giving you plenty of money for your trade in. Its value could easily be going up right now. Or just be brave and sell your car via private party. You can go to cars.com or another major car search engine and punch in the details on your current vehicle. What is a car with the same trim level and similar miles selling for from a dealer? Knock enough money off of the selling price and make it your selling price. Uh-huh. It will be quite attractive for a used car buyer. And you're also not allowing the dealership to make big money on the car you've been taking care of, right? Right. And if you're buying a used car under $20,000, you are more likely to pay closer to clean retail than average retail. So if you're getting black book values from me, I'll point you in the right direction so that you know what you're looking at. If you're not feeling very confident about car shopping, it's okay. You can sign up to get our help via email or text right on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. Email help is twenty four ninety nine and texting is forty nine ninety nine and both packages are good for thirty days. And if you missed it before, you can also try our clear winner, our hassle free car buying with Stewart's help. On average, you can expect to save four to six times the cost of the service, and you'll never find an easier way to buy a car. We guarantee it. After all the years of doing what we've done for people here on YouTube, I can honestly say that getting Stuart Cooper involved with the Homework Guide team has been one of the best decisions we have ever made for helping consumers. Everyone saves many times more than the cost to work with Stuart, but just in case, there's a money-back guarantee. Totally. Now, if you've made it this far, I have a special offer for the first five people to respond by text to me at 701-441-3399 and say, I just watched your car market update video. I will give away five free 15-minute phone calls with Kevin to the first five viewers who respond by text with this message. Do it quickly because these opportunities for free help always go fast. By the way, Kevin does allow you to use this free phone call to get set up with Stuart, and it saves you 100 bucks on the service. That's right. Thanks again to all of you out there in our audience for coming back. We greatly appreciate your loyalty. To all of our longtime loyal subscribers, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Thanks for listening.